I got one, uh, a couple more things I want to talk about. A couple of Navy stories. Uh, I don't know if I told them on the show before <coughs> or not. Uh, I'll talk about this uh, one trip to Spain. And, you know, all these people say, it's like, oh, America is such a racist country. It's like, yeah, go somewhere else. Go see other countries and racism in other countries. Uh, and when I went to Spain, there was only like two Spanish speakers uh, in our crew, you know, the crew that went to Spain. Uh, because uh, it, it was a small detachment that went out to meet our ship. Anyway, it's long story. It was a small group of, uh, like, engineers like myself who went out there to, like, r run new network cables and all that. And so we had this one guy with us. His name was Torres. He was a Puerto Rican, tall Puerto Rican guy, real nice guy. And so you didn't want to get too far away from any Spanish speaker while you're in Spain. Uh, and so uh, we were at this bar one night, and uh, this guy came up, up to us and struck up a conversation in Spanish. And, of course, Torres... You know, this tall Puerto Rican guy uh, engaged with him because, you know, he was the only one who understood what the guy was saying. And they had this conversation for a while. And we sat down at a table. And we had uh, had a few drinks. And, the, you know, in Spain, the beer beer cups are like uh, like eight ounce. You order a beer and it's like eight ounces. It's like America. Everything's like 24 ounces. And stuff. <laughs> and, but like in you know, Spain, it was like eight ounce glass of beer. And so you're just sitting there sipping your, your tiny little baby beer. <laughs> And uh, so they're, they're having this conversation, and, uh, you know, I, I didn't speak Spanish too well even then. And so <laughs> uh, uh, I heard a couple familiar words they were talking about. They were talk it sounded like there's, there's some in the tone of the conversation that he was having with Torres, this uh, native Spanish guy, uh, that, like, there's something a little tense going on. And I picked that up just from the tone of it. And I heard words like Estados Unidos, which means United States. And I heard uh, Puerto Rico, which means Puerto Rico. <laughs> and so um, the guy kind of got up and left and just walked away. And, I, and so I turned to Torres and I spoke to him in English. I said, so what was the deal with that guy? And uh, Torres said to me, he's like, I, I, you know, I really don't know what was up with him. Uh, he came up, started talking to me, and I, I think he may have thought I was a native Spanish guy because he kept asking, like, why are you hanging out with these Americans? And uh, I said, and then what'd you say? It's like, well, I'm hanging out with these Americans because I'm an American. I'm from Puerto Rico. You know, we're all in the Navy together. We're here on a, on a deployment. And, it, and the guy seemed to be offended that he thought Torres was a native uh, Spanish guy, native from Spain. And the reason was uh, uh, Torres and I talked about this at length. It was like, uh, is it? Do you think it's because you're you kind of look white? Because I don't know if you've met a lot of Puerto Ricans, but a lot, uh, some Puerto Ricans have a real light skin complexion and kind of look like white people. But then you know, uh, and and uh, native Spaniards also look like white people. And so uh, Torres and I were talking. And I was like, "Do you think it's because you he couldn't tell that you were Hispanic and not Spanish? That that's why he got upset. There's like a little bit of racism." And he's like, "Yeah, that's probably it because there is a big difference between Latin Americans and Spanish people. All right, the difference is, is that the Latin Americans didn't get conquered by Muslims." <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, but in Spain, you know, they're all like white people and they, you know, mostly white people, you know, they have dark hair and dark eyes, but, you know, at, at the same time, you know, they look generally like Europeans, you know, a lot of white, a lot, a lot, a lot of white people in Spain, you know, and so like you don't have the Aztec look in, in Torres, the Puerto Rican guy, you don't have that uh, Mayan look in Torres. And so that guy made the assumption that he was a native Spanish man. And because that guy made a mistake and didn't realize that, hey, you know, some, there's some light, pe light skinned Spanish speakers in the, in the Western Hemisphere, you know. And so uh, that guy kind of got pissed and walked away. I thought that was kind of weird. And then later, another guy, like, uh, made a motion like he was going to, I'm going to cut your throat <laughs> to Torres, who just laughed it off because what can you do with it? that kind of craziness? Anyway, so I, just, I wanted to tell that story. It's like, if you think America's racist, go somewhere else. Check it out for a little while. Uh, now, there's one more, <clears throat> one more story I want to talk about, and I, I'm not sure if racism is involved in this uh, little story I have uh, about when I went to Halifax, but I, I, I think it might be a part of it. So I'm the only, I don't think that uh, it could go either way. I don't know if racism has anything to do or race has anything to do with it, but I will mention uh, the race of some of these players in this little scenario that happened in Halifax, Nova Scotia. 
Uh, so we went up to Halifax, Nova Scotia, and we, like, the first night, we was like, hey, there's this bar not too far away from where we moored at the piers. And so uh, a bunch of us, like, you know, went from the ship, and we all go to the, we all go to the, the bar. And we came and got in the bar. It was, I guess it was like 8, eight at night or so we got there. And, uh, you know, the music was bumping. They had a dance floor, an empty dance floor, and a bunch of, like, ladies and mostly women hanging around the dance floor, and a couple of guys, Canadian guys and ladies, all standing around the dance floor, you know, dan uh, bumping club tunes, and no one's dancing, all right? And so uh, I got into the bar, we ordered drinks, and it was like, and we were all sitting there commenting, it was like, that, mu that music's bumping like the club is, like, jumping, but nobody's on the dance floor. And so we're, you were having our drinks and stuff like that, and a couple of uh, black guys came in, and I'm, I'm only mentioning this, that there's their race because it's it's kind of interesting what happened to them because <laughs> uh I'll, I'll tell you i'll tell you how what happened all right so they came in and they they came up to us and we're having drinks and stuff like that and they, they're like hey have you seen williams or johnson or whatever like that and it's, it's like yeah yeah i think over there at that table over there near the dance floor they went and sat over there and so these two black guys they spot their friends on the other side of the bar on the across the dance floor at this table and they wave like, hey we're over here <clears throat> And so these two black guys start to cross the dance floor. And just because that they're moving or it's like we're at a bar or we're here to have fun and stuff like that, uh, one of the guys just started you know, moving to the music a little bit. Like, oh, oh, as he's walking towards his friends. And as he started to do that, I swear to God, 12 white girls <laughs> from Canada rushed the dance floor to get around this guy. That poor black man was so scared because he's like what, ha what happened then he sees all these girls dancing and he's like oh we're dancing <laughs> so he danced he danced with a lot of girls that night you know and so uh and all of us every single sailor in there turns to each other is like have you ever seen anything like that before in your life and it's like no it's like these two guys these two uh, guys were just going to cross the dance floor to go talk to their friends and then they got swarmed just because the guy made a few dance moves as he's uh, walking across the dance floor. Swarmed with Canadian women. And you get into this stink guy from all these <laughs> from all these Canadian boys. It's like, damn it. If only we had the guts to get on the dance floor. <laughs> and uh, I remember talking to those guys afterwards because, you know, uh, a long night drinking at the bar and the club and dancing and so forth. I went up to them and was like, hey, how'd that feel? It's like I thought I was, and uh, uh, Williams, I think his name was, and Williams says, "It's like, yeah, I thought I, I thought they were gonna like rushing me. I thought they were gonna jump me or something." <laughs> uh, can you imagine getting beaten up by a bunch of Canadian chicks in Halifax? Anyway, so uh, I always I always like that story. I like to tell that story because uh, the way the way that guy reacted when all the, like all those women came running out, it's like, oh my god, like Children of the Corn or something. <laughs>